Hello and welcome back to Star Ocean. When we last left off, um, well, we were destroying the economy, and we made our way to this little town. Little being a very operative word. There is not much here. No one lives in that house anymore. Oh? Maybe there's some secrets within. Anything here? No. Anything in here at all? Oh. I don't want to look in there. Nothing. Not a scrap. Where did Lynn go? Hmm. Who's Lynn? That's a cute little snowman. I'm making a huge one. Okay. Anyone in here? Oh, hi. My daughter makes the best snowmen. Seems so. And we've got the grocery store. As the war with the monsters gets more and more intense, the population of this village decreases one by one. Oof. Yeah, you need bodies to make soldiers. Speaking of soldiers, if you want some good weapons, it's probably best to head for Sylvant. Oh? Oh god, yeah. You've got, like, the bare minimum of everything. Not exactly desirable. Right now it's okay if we uh, get caught up in the war. Our village will probably... Er, right now it's okay, but if we get caught up in the war, our village will probably vanish without a moment's notice. That's not ideal. Let's check the pub. Anybody here? Nope. Let me guess. You're just going to say welcome. Welcome! Thanks. Now, before we head out of here, let's use another skill. Uh, item creation. But well, we're not making anything. We are identifying things. Yep, Joshua has the ability to figure out what all of these question mark items are. Um, he uses a spectacle every time he does it, but he um, gets the entire stack. So, you know, there's 20 items here. And he looks at it and identifies the sweet syrup. Nice. Seven of these weapons? Ooh, they're probably really good. Uh-oh. He wasn't able to identify it. Luckily, that just gets rid of a spectacle, which is cheap, and it doesn't destroy the stack of items. Oh! Oh, they're just regular long swords. Great. Well, this should be good. Unable to identify it. Yeah, he's only level eight. Moon Knight identified. Well, that sounds pretty useful. Let's see, what are these things? Not able to identify that. Let's try again. Ah, the Star Guard. Now, this shield is um, really good. Uh, you get one every time someone beats a um, level C, um, or... Anytime anyone beats uh, rank C at the arena, they get a star guard. It's a shield that everyone can equip, which is nice. It doesn't have the highest defense in the game, but it has the highest evade in the game. Evade is good. Evade means you don't get hit. Let's see what this is. Weren't able to identify that. Try that again. Dwarven mail. <laughs> this is actually some of the higher ranked I um stuff in the game. So yeah, we'll definitely be putting that to very good use to the two people who can actually wear it. Dwarven boots, not bad. Let's get these herbs identified. Shadow flower, which we've already got. 20 of, so I guess we just chucked those. One more, uh, 
Defense item? Cat band. I'm getting a lot of cat themed stuff. Hmm. Couldn't identify that. There we go. Rune metal. Nice. One more herb, which is mandrake, which I think we're full on uh, as well. And some food. Bad stew. Didn't really need that. Thanks. But yeah, let's put some of those uh, things to good use. Dwarven mail. And I'm definitely going to give you one of the star guards. Because you'll be up front. And... Yeah, might as well give you the other star guard because you're up front. Um, but yeah, defense 10. Um, maximum defense you can get out of a shield is 16, so, you know, um, that's not too bad. But evade 90. Um, and Tinek wants to grab the dwarven boots. I guess? Nah. I don't think so. Uh, you drop a lot in your um, evade. But, let's head out and go around the town. Because we're heading to that next place. Hmm, this looks interesting. Uh-oh, this looks important. Ooh. Mystery gem. Another magic car, that's kind of useless. And a diamond. I'll take that. Yeah, while we're here, might as well figure out what this is. A sage's stone. Well, that seems nice. Legendary mineral alchemists spend their entire lives trying to create. Hmm. Well, we'll keep a hand on that. Now, this looks like it should be something, but, um... Even if I equip the, um, pickaxe, which is a tool to break rocks, and I hit A on it, Nothing seems to happen, so I guess it's just a normal rock. And here we head into a new town. Hmm? Huh? A paper airplane? There's something written on it. What does it say? <gasps> oh, hey, Radix, where are you going? He scurried off with quite an odd expression on his face. Hmm. Wonder what's go- Oh! Hi, Millie, it's been forever. Hey, what are you doing? Who cares? You shouldn't do that. Come on, you're being a big stupid head. None of your letters are going to get delivered. Leave me alone. Eh. Dear Radix, it's me, Millie. You were always there with me, so I never once thought I'd be writing letters to you. But this is all I can do, since I don't know where you are. Are you really out there, Radix? I don't even know how many days it's been since we were last together. Really miss you. Hope I can see you soon. Love, Millie. I miss you. <sighs> Millie, are you crying? Mm. Ugh. This isn't like me. It's all your fault. Whose fault? 
the kids or Radix's? Radix, you stupid baka jerk! Millie? Dunk. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Haha, <laughs> Millie's back. Radix. Millie. Thank you very much for all you've done for me, ma'am. No, you don't need to thank me. I was just happy to help out. In a way, it was as if I gained a cute daughter of my own. Ma'am. Come on, Lucio. Aren't you going to tell her goodbye? He sure can be stubborn. Sorry, Millie. Ah, uh, it's okay. My friends have come for me, so I have to go now. Take care of yourself, Lucio, okay? Millie! Millie, are you really leaving? I'm sorry, I have to. No, don't go, Millie! I... I... Don't cry, Lucio. Lucio, I know, is always happy and cheerful. Where did he go? <laughs> Lucio... Or... Lucio, you're a big boy. Cheer up. At a time like this, you're supposed to see her off with a smile. I know, I know. Be careful, okay, Millie? Come back to see us once in a while, okay? Of course I will. We'll play together again sometime. Goodbye. Bye, Millie! And thus, we have Millie in our party, which, it, this might be a full party. Um, and yeah, Millie's level 20, which I think is what level she was when we last left her. Uh, luckily, she's got a whole bunch of skill points that she can dump into all sorts of things, so um, let's... Um, push up effort as much as humanly possible. Um, and have her train during battle. Because, yeah, both, um, she and, um, Kinnick will definitely need to do some training. I spotted a suspicious looking man earlier, but where'd he go? Hey you, come out already! Hmm, well I guess he's not nearby. Commoners must have a pass in order to leave town. Well, I got a pass from the King of Vaughn. Ooh. We were told that this is a good weapon store. It's a big weapon store, that's for sure. Welcome! Let's see. Well, they've got the Walloon sword, a type of sword. Its power is higher than that of the long sword. That it looks to be. Let's grab a couple of those. Um since we don't have Sias, we don't have any need for a two-handed sword, and since we don't have Fia, we have no need for daggers. Um, and yeah, it does look like we are at max party members. Hmm. Uh, Crest Rod. This is the most powerful staff in the game. Because, you know, you don't really use that much in the way of staves. Cestus. Well, we can definitely use one of those. Halberd. Definitely could use one of that for Tinnick. An Arbalist, well, if, um... A large crossbow. No other bow can compare to its power. Unless you have an elven bow. Uh, steel armor. Well, we've got those dwarven guards, so don't need to carry about that. Definitely gonna want to pick up three of those. Uh, battle suit. Definitely grab a couple of those. 
don't have a lesser fell pool yet. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I want to pick up Tinnick or if I want to pick up the lesser fell pool. I'm gonna brag one steel helmet and not gonna use the shield. Uh, though a pair of silver greaves might be useful. Evade eight. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Oh, we only need two at most. So, Ira is going from the Baknak to the Cestus and getting a battle suit on. Nice. Um, halberd, battle suit, and yeah, I guess it's going to keep the dwarven boots, whatever. Uh, Millie goes um, to the Crest Rod, Holy Cloak, and maintains sandals. And gonna give you the Steel Helm. Silver Greaves, oh. Yeah, we'll just do that for simplicity's sake. Dwarven shield. Mm. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, defense 10, defense 12, debate 85. I actually no. I'll take off um, that just so I can give a shield to like Roxanus. Um, crest, holy Cro cloak. Holy cloak, leather, all that. Oh, yep, you were already equipping your best. Yep, and that'll increase your footwear, which is not bad. Actually, yeah, one second. Evade six. Okay, so the silver greaves are better in every way possible. Nice. Oh, and we should probably, like, sell a lot here. Uh, don't want to sell any more violins, because that's our last one. Uh, don't want to sell off the, um, Bichobu. Definitely don't want to sell off the magic colors, that'd be, uh... Sell off the bad stew, I'm definitely not going to be using that. Huh, I've got multiple, um... Things of lavender, hmm. One of that... Seafood, cap band, sandals not gonna need, Moonite will definitely need. Um, frog, it's, yeah, helmet. It's the worst helmet in the game, but, you know, whatever. Uh, trumpet, I'm not gonna need four of them, that's for sure. Retro I definitely wanna keep. Um, no one else that can use heavy armor, so let's get rid of that. <laughs> That's worth a lot. Um, yeah, just getting rid of these normal long swords. Um, plate mail, not gonna need those. Um, you can't craft armor, which is really annoying. 
Um, silver robes there. Round shield, not going to need that anymore. Going to need to buy some more spectacles, that's for sure. Uh, don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't think I'm going to need that. Probably not going to need that. Definitely not going to need that, or that, or that. Those. Nope. Definitely keeping the long sword plus one, though. So let's settle up. And when we come back, probably explore uh, the rest of this town now that we've... Um, arrived here, and it's a castle town, so this will be one of the places that we can hopefully get um, a piece of information for the Eye of Truth. So, when we come back, probably some actual plot, although we did find Melly, which is nice. See you then, folks.